Hey scoundrels, what's going on? I hope you're doing well. I'm basically feeling 100% healthy again, so that's good. Um, I hope you're all having a lovely day, and if you enjoyed the content I've been putting out, please feel free to subscribe and make sure you stick around for more. Again, you know, I've just published my tier list yesterday. If you didn't see it, I'll link it in the, the description. Um, but today we're going to be doing an Oriana mini guide. I'm not going to do a full guide for Oriana because... Um, I've just had one of my well, one of my friends has just published one, so I'm going to link you to uh, it's Stuart's Oriana guide where he went in more in depth. But I'm going to do a mini guide for Oriana uh, because a I had some good gameplay with her that I wanted to show you guys, and b she's like the S plus. She's like she is like the best champion in mid lane right now by quite a significant margin. So I just think uh, Oriana needs to have some more content out there because you know if you're a mid laner you should be looking to play Oriana. She's super strong at this point in time. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the the build path, and then we can talk a little bit about the runes and the spells. There are some decisions to be made here, so we'll go through them. Build path. This is relatively set in my opinion. I think that this right here is the best build path that you can get for Oriana, um, and I wouldn't really change too many pieces of it around. I like to go for Archangel's Staff. Now, I often go for Tier, and then I finish Leandri's. So I go Tier into Leandri's, and then finish the Archangel's Staff later on. Why? Because Leandri's is such a big power spike for most mages. The other way that you could do it is finish Leandri's and then go Tier, but you won't stack the Tier quick enough, and you'll also find that you run out of mana. The reason I like to go for Tier is because it's really important to uh, ensure that you have the mana necessary to uh, to be able to compete in lane. And so there are lots of different uh, rune choices that you can also make to, to sort of help... Uh, play in towards this, but we'll talk about that in a bit. So Archangels into Leandries, and then I like to go for the Stasis Enchant, Rabadons, Infinity Orb, and uh, Void Staff. That is like the best build for Oriana for the most part in terms of just full six items. Really, really solid build. You can't go too far wrong with it. You'll deal a lot of damage, and you'll be a massive late game carry. I don't think I would change this build up massively. I've seen people try and go like Nash's Tooth and Oriana and, and Lichbane, but you don't really want to be within basic attack range unless you're being super aggressive. Most of the time you're trying to play defensively and utilize the, the, the range of your ball to really take advantage of the enemies. Runes. Let's talk this through. Okay, so Electrocute. Hitting a champion with three separate attacks or abilities within three seconds deals damage. So it deals a flat 30 to 184, uh, scaling with 40% of your bonus AD and 25% of your total ability power. This is the highest damage burst rune in the game. This is about burst. This is about um, either abusing melee matchups or uh, trying to get, get in on ranged matchups. It's got a cooldown of about 25 seconds. Summon Airy. Your attacks and abilities send airy to a target, damaging enemies or shielding allies. You can see that the damage is significantly lower than the damage from Electrocute. 30 to 184, 10 to 60, with only a 10% ability power scaling. However, you can probably proc this maybe twice as much, maybe even three times as much as Electrocute, because Electrocute has got an internal 25 second cooldown on it. And it's much easier to proc as well when playing Oriana. It's just not quite as 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 kind of like abusive in the laning phase. The other drawback of this is you, if you ever shield an ally, um, you're going to like lose the offensive power of this rune in a team fight, where you won't lose the offensive power of this rune on Electrocute. So just be aware, um, some people go airy, some people go Electrocute, they both do the same thing, but airy is a lot more slow paced, uh, and also will benefit your shielding, Electrocute is just for the pure burst damage. The other rune that I've seen people go is Conqueror, essentially you're going to get stacks up to 5 times that will give you uh, AP, um, and then you get 10% bonus adaptive damage to champions as well. Uh, Conqueror is really good for the elongated teamfights. Oriana can stack Conqueror really nicely. It's not as strong in the laning phase, but becomes stronger in teamfights later on, which is where Oriana does really start to shine. However, Oriana is a bit of a lane bully. I do often like to go for Electrocute. Those three rune choices are what you've got. When it comes to the Domination rune, um, really, I think you have two choices here. You have Brutal, which is going to give you more power in the laning phase, or you have Gathering Storm, which is going to give you more power late game. I like Brutal, personally. I like the... the, the the maximum AP that I'm usually going to get in an average game from Gathering Storm is going to be somewhere in the region of about 20 to 30. Maybe 30 if I'm lucky. So, um, Gathering Storm is going to give me 30 AP. I could just take Brutal for 14 AP and 2% Magic Penetration, and I get that from the start of the game, and I, I have no problems. So, like, for this to become as effective... Like, not including the 2% magic penetration, which is something to, to, to really worth to write home about. You need to be in the game for at least 8 minutes, which most people are, 
and then beyond that to really make it effective and really make it an effect like maybe even you know ten more effective than than brutal uh, in terms of the value that it gives you you probably need to be in the game for another eight minutes beyond that as well so it's a super late game rune that i don't think is as strong as brutal in most cases I like Backbone if I'm going into a matchup where I'm expecting to take damage. If I'm not going into a matchup where I'm expecting to take damage, I'll take Regeneration because Oriana really struggles with um, mana, mana and a Mana Regeneration will really help her. The other one that you could take is Hunter Titan, which is, I think, the, just best, the best value rune from the Resolve page. You've got three rune choices, in my opinion, from the Inspiration. Uh, Hunter Genius, a Genius, which gives you the Ability Haste, which is great. Um, you could go Sweet Tooth. Which is okay for Oriana, don't get me wrong, the, the extra regeneration is always nice, but realistically I think Mana Flow Band is the best choice because it's going to allow you to get a load of mana which is going to help sustain you. Uh, and if you go for Mana Flow Band, you don't off, you might not even need to go for um you might not even need to go for tier first before going for Leandris. However, obviously Mana Flow Band stacks into Archangels as well and obviously makes that more powerful. So this is the best setup I would say for Oriana in terms of runes. And spells, I think Barrier and Flash are the best here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump into a game, show you a game of Oriana that I was playing and I hope you enjoy it. Oh, you're playing MF. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Wait, they've, they've got Trindamir Jungle with Ignite. Jesus Christ. Why have I got a Lulu? Forgotten what it feels like to win a game of League of Legends. Bottom turret is under attack. <clears throat> right, why don't I start music on? Just positive. We are positive gaming in this chat. Even if our top lane is losing a matchup that he counters, we're positive gaming. Positive mental attitude. We don't get upset, do we, Stuart? We're not we're not upset we gamers. Don't get mad. We are not upset gamers at this malfight who's building AP versus a Ken and not going adaptive helm. <laughs> <laughs> Flash. Did he flash aggressively or defensively? Defensively. Huh? 
defensively. Oh, offensively. Decent start. Or Infinity Edge first back. <laughs> Aim back to my house again. Welcome, mate. How you doing? Can't have the best of starts today, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty rough. It's fine. We'll be okay. We've got a Trindamir jungle, and Trindamir is insanely <laughs> useless. Insane. Trindamir is F tier. He's F tier. That's even a thing. He's tier not, list. But we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. I think. <laughs> Trindamir has his own tier list, just to him. Well, we have to be a little careful that they might actually just be doing dragon. Though. Yeah, that's the only thing I was thinking of. They are. Yeah, they are. Wukong's a little bit slow to the punch here, unfortunately. Do you like that shockwave? You like that shockwave? Yeah. <laughs> That's that. This is the one thing that Trindamir Jungle can do. Is do Drakes. Is do Drakes. What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? He's just, trying to, just trying to what? stop his turret going down. What are you doing? Nice. Good job. He's just a simple farmer trying to stop his turret going down. Simple gamers. Nice. Unfortunately, we have now. a we have a negative gamer in the top lane. I need At to assess this game. Unfortunately, oh, I'm really strong now. I can just fight. Okay, he's winning. You're winning top side, are you? Nice. We are gamers. Don't think I lose my turret here, but uh, you might do. No, it's not. It's an Ari. It's not going to happen. Close, but no cigar. So slow. Where they got her? Never mind. So low bot line. You can roam. Got him. Jan is nearly dead as well. Oh. Jan has one HP. I heard. That oh was shit, Trendemir. Uh oh. What's he gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> in your face. Oh wait, he might actually die for me. Okay. <laughs> He's like here at the moment. I carry you with my Smurf Bronze account, don't worry. Oh boy. A rapid fire cannon, I guess. Fire cannon's not bad, I don't think. Wait, Emote what? in your face kicked up the A pitch. How you doing, mate? Oh, what is happening here? Can I join the party? Hi there. Can I join? Uh, Trendamir, die, please. 
Hello, my name's Stuart. I would like to join the party, please. Good job, Ari. Much dead. You're, I think, nope, nope, nope. We're somehow, we're somehow all I'm still alive. Love, I'm alive. I'm alive. Can you just come help us, like, power farm the dragon, or? I'm kind of 1 HP. I'm pushing the lane at the moment as well. I'm coming. I <laughs> just see him run in. That's a, that's a kick W if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Just runs in, press smites, runs straight back out. <laughs> I mean, he got the dragon at the end of the day. <laughs> Oh my god, I walked into it and I still survived somehow. Oh, Ooh, they want pretty hard. Shit, MF skin? This MF skin's not that bad. Mate, the new MF skin's gonna oh, be lit. It. Oh, the new MF skin. Oh, that looks so. I cannot wait for that. Have you seen like, all like the voices and everything, all the poses and. Oh, that skin is so nice. Your jungle smited smite at 2k HP? Wait, did he really? I didn't even see that, to be fair. Oh shit, it's party bot lane again? Don't mind me. Let's double check. Oh, wait, are you dying to... Are you dying to Kennen? No. For some reason, Lulu ulted herself and not me. But... Yeah. So, yeah, we take it, we take it. Oh, they surrendered, thank God. MF is completely busted still? We won a game chat! Only took